hello guys welcome back to photographics academy all right so this is an image that we got from Betty studio dropped it for really touching and all of that and when i saw the picture i was so drawn to the concept the texture so we decided to take a jump on it make a video on it and show you a lot that you can do using the same image all right so quickly i'm going to show you how i was able to retouch mine those very simple touches here and there and trust me the results will blow your mind so that we see your time let's get started quickly duplicate your image rather duplicate your layer always duplicate so you have a back a a backup so the reason i'm duplicating is i want to take care of the blemishes over here so i'm going to create a black and white adjustment layer like this so that i can be able to see my blemishes or you can even cross down the red saving two bits more move, to, move one or two sliders to make it even more obvious then pull to your layer one and create an empty layer just a blank layer pick up your your any of your healing brush to your spot healing brush to the one that works for you and make sure that your sample is set to correct and below please do not do current layer alone or all layers it will sample both from black and white just do current and below and quickly take care of your blemishes all right so we are done picking it before after before after okay so we are here for the retouching now let's get straight to retouching to retouch the image we are going to be making use of two two very important uh plugins and action we are going to be using retouch for me academy plugin and we are going to be using done for you retouching action so we want to combine the two together and see the amazing result two of them working together in one picture is going to give us so first of all we we'll apply our retouch academy then lastly we are going to apply our done for you retouch action so to start with retouch academy we are going to go to our 16 bits because there's 16 bit image right over here so we'll go to 16 bit make sure that you set set your Gaussian blur enough so that you will see your texture so to do that where your Gaussian blur is high that is the higher the blurriness of the skin of the skin texture the more details you return at the end of the day the lower the blurriness of the skin texture the more details you lose at the end of the day so for this image we want to retain a lot of textures so i'm going to place it somewhere around 10 and see what it looks like so i'm just going to come over to the skin you can click anywhere here and look at this box if you are still seeing any touch of uh skin texture on it know that you are not yet there so for this one i'm good i'm just seeing the colors and we are good so press okay when you do that i need you to come down to this place you can as well delete this layer if you don't need it but just leave it then come to the layer to the low frequency colors right click on it and convert it for smart filters convert it to smart filters go to filter go to blur go to Gaussian blur now start increasing the blurriness until the skin texture start looking like what you want to get at the end of the day yeah just keep taking it high till you get so exactly what you want so I think it's our Gaussian blur was too much I'm going to start at first then is not giving good results so I'm going to place this somewhere around eight just drop it by two repeat the same process yeah no frequency separation convert to smart object and go to filter and gaussian blur all right so we'll take it up again yeah i think i like what i'm seeing here at 26 so we'll drop it somewhere around 24 so it doesn't get too much press ok go to the smart filter mask press ctrl i to invert pick up your brush and start painting over the skin just like that easy peasy we just paint over the skin just like that beautiful so why doing this you don't necessarily need to be careful of the dimensions and all of that it would start into consideration even as it's setting it for you so unless you dropped down your Gaussian blur so much that you lost a lot of skin texture then you might need to be very careful with your painting so you don't lose you don't paint into places you are not supposed to paint in just like that and we are good to go of course you can explore using this same technique you can try lower numbers higher number or your own images because it may not necessarily give you the same result that we are having here probably because of the quality of your image so you need to also check the settings that works most for your image you don't necessarily need to copy mine just check the setting that works most for you 
and you are good to go. So we are here. All right. So the arm, just like that. Beautiful. All right. So let me see in the area. No. Okay. So we are good. Having done that, I'm going to create a stamp visible layer and clean the eyes. So go to magic eyes, allow it to play. After playing it, us going to wait. All right. So open up your group, go straight down to this one that says clean eye white here. Then pick up your brush, zoom in very closely and just take care of your eyes. Like that. Beautiful. Take it down a little. Okay. Missed one area. Nice one. Do the same thing over here. All right. So reduce your opacity. Of course, it's too much. So just drop down the group opacity like this. Drop the opacity, not the fill, not the flow, rather, not the fill, rather. Because the feel is going to just make you look like you did nothing. See? Going to make you look like you did nothing. So just work on the opacity. So having done that, create a stamp visible layer again. And check if your picture needs some texture. Okay, so we don't want to introduce some textures right now. So what we want to be is our auto dot and bond. So we're going to come to auto dot and bond here. Well, we'll put that. All right. So come to our auto dot and bond. Done for you, auto DB. So press OK. Pick up the brush and paint over your skin just like this. Beautiful. Do the same thing for the arm. Nice. So you zoom in to check if you missed any area. Can you even try that on the air, on the clothes rather, to see what that gives to you. I think I like the result. Check it here as well. Just to give dimensions to those areas as well. Beautiful. We are good. So check before, after, before, after. Like, can you even decide to check exactly what the highlight, what the dodge is doing by time. So I think the dodge is too much on the dress. I'm going to take it away from the dress and leave just the bond there. And so have our upper dodge and one beautiful. All right, so we're going to reduce the opacity slightly so it doesn't get too much. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten all this up so we can apply our done for you retouch action. So having done all this, the next thing I want to do is my done for you retouch. I'm going to press play and keep it somewhere around for all right, or is good and press OK. So let's see how that handles the image. Beautiful, beautiful. See the amazing result we are having already. Reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity. We are good to go. Okay, so I think we missed a step. The step is that my nose is not looking exactly what I want it to look like. So I'm going to go and reduce the auto touch and bond for the nose specifically. I don't like the way it's handling the nose. So I'm going to reduce it there. Then come back and apply my done for you retouch action. I didn't get exactly what I wanted. All right, so we are good. Let's go again. Slatten. Done for you. Use it at four. Press OK. And we are good to go. Yeah, I love the way it's going now. Produce the opacity. Reduce it. Nice one. So the next thing I was going to do is to color grade our image. Quickly color grade our image. I think I need to brighten the shadows up a little. Use it for press OK. Now go straight to your color lookup tables and this I forget. As I've told you initially, the color lookup that we are using on this image, you are also getting it for free. For free, you are getting it for free. So just download it from the description of the video and use it. It will work so well for your image. I'm going to load up my change this to 3DL, and we should have it right in this folder. Yeah, look at it. Chocolate press load. Yeah, so just reduce the opacity. Nice. So just reduce it till it suits your own workflow. So I'm, this one, I wouldn't want it to desaturate a lot. So I'm just going to drop it as much as I can. Enough to look good before, after. Nice. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to match this up together. And lastly, apply my sharpening. So I'm going to go to sharpen image. 
and wait for it to load and we are good. So you see the level of texture it brings back into the image will reduce the opacity and we are good to go. Of course, we missed a particular step which we can correct now. We didn't crop our image with 8 by 10 or 4 by 5 just to make sure it's exactly aligning with uh, social media platforms, cropping ratio, and that's why we cropped it 8 by 10. So we are done with our image. So let me quickly show you the before and after of everything we've done. So this is before. When we started the retouching, this is after, this is before, this is after, isn't this beautiful? So remember we combined two things in this particular video. We used our retouch academy and our own done for you retouch action. Of course, you must have heard of it. If you've not heard of retouch uh, done for you retouch action, you saw exactly what it did. And if you want to get in, make inquiries on how you can get it and start using it for your work, you just go to the description of the video. You are going to see the link you will click and you'll be able to assess it. Thank you for watching this amazing video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. See you.